my YouTube, I'm Matt and I react to comedians or comedy sketches that I've never seen before. My lalometer down here in the corner is going to count every time that I laugh out loud during this video. This time around I'm watching somebody that I may have seen as a child um, because this person was recommended to me by my dad. Um, my dad told me that I had to watch Mick Miller. Uh, now I probably watched him as a child uh, because my dad loves him so I'm sure he would have been on the TV a lot as I was growing up but I certainly don't remember him and I'm, I guess most of his comedy was probably way over my head when I was a child so let's see if he's any good. And now, laughs from the past. <laughs> I hate the dentist. I want the dentist. Oh. Have you noticed the dentist never speaks to you? It's always his assistant that sticks you in the chair and gives you that pink stuff, you know, that Campari. <laughs> I never drink it. I, when she turns her back, I spit it in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and then he injects you, and when half your head doesn't work, he wants a conversation with you. <laughs> How is the wife and family? The father's an allergy. The father's an allergy. Walking around talking like Peter Beardsley all day. <laughs> what, the... And that Prince Charles, he'll never be king, will he? Imagine the size of the stamp. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> the coins that have handles on them. <laughs> He'll never be king. Ooh. What about that Cam Camilla? I'm sure that's Audrey Roberts, sir. Uh... <laughs> Does anyone like country and western music? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know if you play a country and western record backwards, the fella gets his wife back, the kids back, <laughs> the car. <laughs> One thing I know about London, you know, you come to London, have you seen pigeons everywhere? You know, you do a bit of shopping, you drive in any town centre, pigeons, more so in London. And have you noticed you never do kill a pigeon? You're driving along, you think, oh, that's just gone right under my wheel. That pigeon is dead. And you never do kill a pigeon, do you? They always just pop out from under your wing and give you a dirty look. <laughs> With that oil slick round the neck. <laughs> Apparently, years and years ago, a pigeon had a wonderful song. They used to sing like that. Then they start to live in big towns with fog and smoke. And you listen to them now. <laughs> I went to one of them seafood stalls. Have you ever tried to eat a whelk? Have you ever tried a whelk? I was chewing it for four and a half hours. <laughs> I took it out of my mouth, there wasn't a mark on it. <laughs> have, you, have you ever tried them winkles? Them, them little black things, they give you a pin to eat them with. Like bogeys with crash helmets on. <laughs> If you had eight of them on a sandwich, you wouldn't go near it. <laughs> Here's an impression from that fabulous film. <laughs> Carrie doesn't live here anymore. <laughs> Carrie! Wasn't that great to see Clint Eastwood get an Oscar? I thought that was wonderful after all them years, because, I mean, I mean you must admit he's good at them westerns. Mind you, the Americans have got the names, haven't they? Clint, Tex, 
You couldn't have a British Western, could you? Go for your gun, Malcolm. <laughs> Why'd you shoot me, Kevin? <laughs> yeah, but the suicidal twin shot his brother. <laughs> and that pisses me off on television. Have you noticed the Antiques Roadshow? They never go to places where people are skint. You never see him in Wigan or Bradford. <laughs> I was in Wigan last Wednesday. I was opening a shop there. Pies are us. <laughs> and they... They have a Wigan kebab that's a pie on a stick. <laughs> a fellow from Wigan took his wife to Spain and they're in the apartment and he said, Hey, listen, don't be giving me this foreign muck. I don't want any piella. I want proper wholesome food. I want pork chops and bistro gravy. <laughs> she said, we're in Spain, you can't get bistro gravy. He said, they're all English folk here. Oh, this fellow in the next apartment. He went and knocked on the door, this fellow opened the door. He said, that's bistro gravy. This fellow went, piss off, you Spanish get. <laughs> Can you imagine a fellow on the radio doing the Noddy program for kids? And he hates kids. He needs kids like a moose needs a hat rack. <laughs> and he's been doing this for 20 years, every Monday morning on the radio, the Noddy program for kids, hates kids, and he's an alcoholic. But don't forget it's on the radio, and I think it sounds something like this. <coughs> Morning, kids. It's a Noddy show. Are you all listening to your radios? Oh, what does Noddy do today? He wakes up, doesn't he? And he goes, goes in the bathroom for a wash. Can you hear Noddy? Uh... <laughs> can, you, uh... can you hear Noddy? <laughs> Fell in the sink with water. His taps are a bit bleeding. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> can you hear him? Fell in the sink with water. Little Noddy's got a big sink, hasn't he? <laughs> he said, shit, I'll have a bath. <laughs> then he goes downstairs for his breakfast. Here's <laughs> a milkman. Pours himself a cup of tea. <laughs> Poured himself some toast. <laughs> uh, and a runny egg. <laughs> he got in his car. <laughs> with his friend Gordon. <laughs> so Gordon. And he's going on in his holidays to Scotty Bottle and. <laughs> and he met a Scottish Red Indian. Hawkeye the New. <laughs> and he met a Scout Red Indian. Hang on a bow. Then he saw Postman Pat, he said, piss off, Pat, you're not in this. <laughs> Take the fat controller with you. <laughs> and his car stopped. No, this is all my cars. I won't go at all. <laughs> Phone the AA man. He said, what's wrong, eh? Hey! <laughs> he found there was no water in the radiating neck, no. No water in the whitey whoppers. <laughs> no water in the headlamps. <laughs> he said, what's wrong with my car, eh, man? He said, shit in the car, Bretta. <laughs> he 
He said, how often do I have to do that? <laughs> Thanks for being lovely people. Good night. God bless. Thank you. Oh, Mick Miller. Um, yeah, there's actually a few tears there after that one. Uh, I, I've got achy cheeks. I was sort of permanently smiling through that. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, uh, really funny guy. Uh, quite a few sort of one-liners there as well. I love my one-liners. Parts of it were probably a little bit dated, but um, I actually got all the references, so I'm quite pleased with that one. I couldn't help smiling at the uh, comment about Prince Charles never being king. <laughs> But yeah, I really enjoyed that. Thanks to my dad for recommending Mick Miller to me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, drop a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I'll see you next time.